Welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon. We've done a couple of, I'm going to say, kind of advanced videos on different styles of crackers. And I did a video where I compared, or showed you actually, how to make what I'm calling a tassel style cracker. Actually, Robert from California designed that cracker and shared that with me. Uh, I don't think he originally called it a tassel style cracker, but it, it's his design. Uh, it just reminds me of like a tassel that you might see on a curtain sash. But at any rate, uh, I had another video where I talked about the pros and cons of that type cracker. And I set up my two hand whips to with those nine inch or, or excuse me, nine millimeter stainless steel uh, split rings. You can hopefully you can see those there so that I could put tassel style crackers as I was learning two handed work. So I threw tassel style crackers on my two hand whips for about a month and then I got a chance to play with Moodstone in the dungeon and she's been standing for me for I don't know about 13 years I guess and I would say she's a pretty experienced whip bottom. So this is what the tassel style cracker looks like on a whip after it's been fluffed out. Okay. She found that that was a little too light and a little too fluffy for what she enjoyed. And it's really all about the whip catcher. So if, if your whip bottom, the person you're playing with, likes real light, fluffy play, or if you're brand new and you're a beginner, you can go back to my video on the pros and cons. The pros and cons remain unchanged on a tassel style cracker, but Moodstone's feedback was she still enjoys the Lady Sally style cracker the most. And so you can see I left the split rings on these two whips so that if in the future I needed to change those and go back to tassel stall. I could easily do that, but it was also very easy to mount two Lady Sally style crackers. So that's what I've been throwing for the last maybe two or three weeks is that Lady Sally style cracker and uh, Moodstone liked it. In fact, she liked it so much the last time I threw two hand whips with her. I don't think she wants me to stand uh, to stand too much for one-handed whips unless I'm going to transition into two-handed. So I just thought I'd give you a little update. If you've got an experienced whip bottom, you might find the um, Lady Sally style cracker or even a twisted cracker with an overhand knot to be more enjoyable. So as always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon.